Mm-hmm. So, for my birthday. <sighs> Smoke has gotten really, really bad. Today is like so hazy. Yeah. Finally, after months, I'm actually watering my garden. <laughs> now I don't have to do this by hand. I have, um, what's it called? Sprinklers. I just can't find them. <laughs> so I guess I do have to do this by hand. Uh, but I only am going to do this upper half. The bottom half doesn't need to be watered. Uh, the corn is fine. The kid's garden, I'm not worrying about. Um, potatoes, they just really need to die off anyways. And all the beans are dead. All that's left is like one head of cauliflower. So I'm not watering the, that half of the garden at all. It's just this upper half. So I'm okay to do it by hand. It shouldn't take me too long. Okay, I just finished watering the whole upper half of the garden. Uh, looks like I need to pick more cucumbers. I'm kind of done making pickles. I have enough. <laughs> so I might give those away and have somebody else make pickles. <laughs> The thing is with pickles is that you don't want to make a whole lot, at least I don't, I don't want to make a whole lot of pickles that'll last years, because like, as much as it'll be good to eat, it won't taste good. <laughs> like, the pix pickles will get soft as in like a, a year's time, and I know there's so many tricks out there that are like, oh, how to keep your pickles crisp and blah blah blah. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm only going to can a year's worth. <laughs> Everything else, though, I'm really trying to get two years worth um so like I want two years worth of spaghetti sauce and I would say we go through about 30 jars a year 30 to 40 um and that's using one jar or less than a jar every week throughout the year which I mean when you think about it when you make pizzas or when you just have spaghetti or I use it um, to make chilies like my spaghetti sauce is really a tomato base for everything I know some people just make just a tomato base and then they make it into all of those things but I just use my spaghetti sauce as all of those things because <laughs> all it is in there is basil which goes good with everything onions garlic and tomatoes and a little bit of salt and that essentially works for everything it's pizza sauce spaghetti sauce chili bases it works for everything um, and it's got some good taste to it instead of just tomatoes. And then I have to add a bunch of stuff to it. But I like to just do that. So I would say I want 40, so I guess 80 jars of spaghetti sauce to get two years under my belt of tomato-based products. Um, and then I want to turn a bunch into like chili jars, just jars of chili that I can easily open up and dump out, make some biscuits, and we got dinner. I'm always thinking about like those easy things, not just to put my food up, but like, how are you gonna actually eat it? And are you actually gonna want to cook with it on busy days? Like you need those easy convenient foods. That's why I love soups and definitely chilies and things like spaghetti sauces with the meat already in it. That's excellent, very excellent. Cause then you just literally dump the jar and you don't have to like unthaw frozen meat or yeah, it's just awesome. on it and to get all the juices out and then I rinsed it, strained it, put it in the pot and the recipe calls for three cups of sugar but I only do two. Doesn't make that big of a difference and if I can cut out one cup that's pretty good. Uh, now I need vinegar. A cup of apple cider vinegar and two cups of white vinegar. Mostly because this apple cider vinegar is expensive but I like the taste. <laughs> 
There's one. I'll go get white vinegar for the rest. And not that it really matters, but the white vinegar will give it like a lighter look in your canning jar and it looks really nice. Now I need like turmeric, some other spices. I need to check my phone, but I know turmeric. It's turmeric, mustard, pepper, and celery seeds and a teaspoon of all of that, but I don't have celery seeds, so. is like so sweet. Uh, I've been feeding her corn stalks lately, but who knows? So good. Would never drink store-bought milk ever in my life. I mean, like can't even remember a time I had a cup of like milk. But now that I have a cow, this tastes really good. are done. But it is definitely rewarding. Even though it's really late and I'm really tired. <laughs> and I had to do so much more today and I just didn't. <laughs> it's okay. Tomorrow will be a big day. I got I absolutely have to make bread. I have no bread in the house, it really sucks. Okay, very short video, but that is all for today. I'm so tired. Ugh, <laughs> oh, but mostly today I just played outside with my kids, milked the cow twice, and then got that done. I need to, yeah, I need to make bread tomorrow. I need to make yogurt tomorrow. I need to deal with all that cream. Uh, I got a lot of cream in the fridge. I gotta turn it into butter. Oh my goodness. Then I gotta make muffins. I think that's everything. On top of trying to take care of yourself and eat and take care of others and keep your house clean. That doesn't happen. Let's be honest. That doesn't happen. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for being along this journey. We're almost at 100 days. 